Elon Musk from the 2014 60 Minutes interview with Scott Pelley. How is that possible is a good question to ask about Musk himself. In 2002, he sold his company PayPal for $200 million. He used the money to start SpaceX, the only private rocket company, to launch a spacecraft into orbit and bring it back. And the electric car company Tesla. Now at age 43, Musk has a new venture to make batteries for storing solar energy. Musk certainly doesn't lack for energy himself, so what is his story? Let's ask Ashley Vance, author of a new autobiography, Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and the Quest of a Fantastic Future. Good morning to you. Uh, thank you. So other people have written about him, but you're the first person that actually got access, got to spend a lot of time with him. How did you do that? Well, it took a while. I, I'd done a cover story on Elon and sort of had the first peek into to his operations. and. We had a pre pretty good rapport, and then over the course of 18 months of reporting, he finally agreed to, to talk with me, and then we spent another about eight months reporting. Oh, eight months, wow. Yeah. The book begins with a question that he asks you. Yeah. Do you think I'm insane? Yeah. Do you? <laughs> you know, I think going to Mars and things like this kind of sound crazy to some people, but, um, you know, I don't think he's insane. I mean, I think he's chasing these big dreams that, you know, a lot of other people just wouldn't sort of go for. And I think to him, this is important. It's about the future of man and, and you know, sort of the most basic thing we should be going after. So he's born in South Africa. His father was an engineer. His mother was a model and a dietitian. Where did this burning ambition come from? Yeah, I mean, as a kid, he read a lot of science fiction, and I think a lot of kids would just sort of take these as stories. But he seemed to take this as kind of a truth and a calling. And he was kind of a loner growing up in the book. This is like the first time you get to see his, what his childhood friends were like. And, and, you know, I think he's out there trying to prove himself a little bit to the world and show, um, you know, that he can do these great big things. SpaceX and Tesla are both really transformational company, uh, companies. But I think what's interesting here is that the decision to start Tesla actually nearly bankrupted him, didn't it? Yeah, well, in 2008, SpaceX and Tesla almost go bankrupt. Uh, he's about to lose $220 million that he'd made off PayPal. He's going through a divorce. I mean, the, in the book, you see his life story is almost as good as the company stories because he's in this huge personal crisis and it's all about to come crumbling down. There is one portion of this book that you know is getting a lot of attention, and it's between a former employee and Elon himself. Right. The former employee claiming that after the birth of his first child, Elon Musk sort of chided him. Why is that getting so much attention, and is there a truth to that story? Well, I mean, I think it sounds like Elon runs around doing this all the time to everybody, but this came during that 2008 period when it was kind of all hands on deck. People were being asked to do extraordinary things, and, and you know, the employees pretty much have to be there all the time. And uh, I mean, today it's, it's a much different environment. So taken out of the context of sort of where it fits into the book, it looks pretty hard. Most people, I think, think of him in terms of Tesla. But really, I mean, the way you describe it and the way he describes it, his real driving ambition is, is, is space. Yeah, that's absolutely, you know, he wants to make man a multi-planetary species. He thinks we might be in peril from, from some terrible things and he wants an exit strategy. And that's absolutely his, his, his goal. Absolutely fascinating. It makes you also realize that money is not a driving factor when you really get into this book. Yeah. Ashley Vance, thank you so much. Thank you.